Yo, what's everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually win the PlayStation Cup, which is a console only tournament, only for PlayStation players, coming super soon to Fortnite. Real quick, before we see starts, though, please subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to hit 21,000 subscribers by the end of the month. We're getting closer and closer every single day. I appreciate every single new person that's up to the channel. If you guys want to support me even more, please by using code KETA or Gadanum Shop. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so honestly, the PlayStation Cups are a lot more difficult than people really think they are. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying to give you guys my best tips on how to qualify for round two and actually make money in them. So if I'm going completely honest you're gonna need to be a good fighter to actually be able to make it to round two because only the top 100 people from round two one actually qualified to round two so basically if you read the uh, details for you, all it says is this event will occur across two rounds with the top 100 players advancing for round two and that's pretty much all it says so pretty much for your first game you're not going to be in the lobby with the best people especially if you're on a next gen playstation being on old gen it's still possible to qualify but it's going to be a lot harder so I recommend you're on a next gen console if you're going to be like playing this and really trying to win money in it so for your first game you're going to need at least like like an 11 plus elimination win i say that's a pretty decent start if you're able to get anything over like 15 that's a really good first game after that you're going to be in a high elo lobby so you're going to be playing against people that are really good and it's going to be pretty difficult to even like make it off spawn most of the time because even though console players aren't the best the people that you're going to be start going against are a lot better than the people that you probably are used to playing against especially if you're like a uh, like don't really compete that much or like don't play arena and you pretty much just play creative and stuff like that so once you get into like after your first good game you're going to have to to play for a lot more placement you're not gonna be able to w key like at all it's gonna be pretty much impossible to w key the games are gonna be a lot more stacked they're gonna have storm surge and all that sort of stuff so things i'd recommend to do to, like prepare for this is by obviously playing things like solo scrims there's obviously a bunch of different discords and stuff for solo console only scrims i've made videos on it in the past like you guys can just look up like chili k dog scrims and you probably should be able to find some but basically after you play that and you're just like if you're able to make it to end game you're gonna need to get at least like a top five it's a really good performance if you can get into that top five every single game playing consistent is one of the main things to have after you have like a big pop-up game for your first game because there's like 30,000 people that play in these tournaments so going from like the top 30,000 all the way to the top 100 is a really big margin so it is pretty difficult to qualify for in the past the cups haven't been region locked so I'm not sure if you can play every single region or not like in the past you have been able to play every single region but now I'm not sure if they changed it and a good thing though is there's going to be placing the cups every single month all the way until June so if you're not able to like perform well in this one or even like play it in general you always have um next Next month and it's going to be going like for the next six months so that's a long time for these cups to be happening for but if you are able to make it to round two then pretty much you'll be able to make money you can only make money in round two and depending on your region is what place you actually need to get to make money so like what you want to do to actually check like what place you need to get is to make money is you want to go into the compete tab go to the playstation cup and then go to like the second round tournament for it and then you just want to click on it and then click prizes and rewards you want to push r2 on your playstation controller and then you can see like how far it goes to make money so like for me I'm a West player, so you need to get top 64 to actually make money. And the only difference between round one and round two is I'm pretty sure, yeah, every single elimination is two points in round two, so eliminations are worth more, but they are also a lot harder to get because obviously you're facing the best PlayStation players on your region. So other than that, that's pretty much all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Use code KDOG and I'm shopping to support me even more. The rest of this video is going to be a 17 elimination game that I got in the recent tournament, the recent solo tournament that I played in. So if you guys want to just watch this and like see how you can actually W key better, it's probably going to help you out a lot. Catch us next time though. Peace out.